Good morning guys. So yesterday I got an email from one of our customers who purchased Emulate or Film Emulation for Final Cut Pro and he asked me how to use Emulate with S-Cinetone shot on Sony cameras. So the thing is S-Cinetone is basically a Rec. 709 image already with some slight adjustments to it. So it's pretty easy and that's why I'm making this short video. So if this question comes up for another customer in the future, I can send them this video and they will see that it's super easy and takes less than a minute to get a great result out of it. Even though, as of right now, there's no option to pick a Cinetone as a camera input within Emulate because right now we're only uh, having the profiles for uh, log footage like S-Log3, S-Log2 and so on. So let's jump straight into Final Cut to uh, show you that it's yeah pretty easy to do so. Okay so here we are in Final Cut Pro. I got some footage loaded onto my timeline from the customer. He sent me some still frame exports, PNG files, so we can work with that. Um, this is a Cinetone. I will add an adjustment layer and put it over my timeline. And now we go to the effects browser and apply emulate look development on the timeline level. And all you need to do now is select camera, go to emulate camera. And instead of going to Sony and searching for a Cinetone, which is not there yet, go to Rec. 709 and pick Rec. 709. And then we can pick our look by going to emulate look. And I will go for Fincher, which is my favorite one. And as you can see, the footage looks ready for export already and uh, you only need to do some basic adjustments which you can now either do on the clip itself for example this clip over here is a bit blown out in the highlights so I go to the clip go to my color board and ah, I already applied it before this was the original image and I just pull down some highlights boost the midtones a bit and you can repeat this step for each clip. Let's say you want to bring down the highlights here as well. Just like that. Maybe raise the lows a bit. And yeah, that's basically it. And now if you did all the basic adjustments on your clip level, you can now go back to your adjustment clip and play around with the looks and build your own look by just playing around with the balance, for example add some film compression to get a smoother highlight roll off, add some vignetting, whatever you want to do. And the cool thing is, as Eric mentioned in his tutorial already, you can now play around with the looks and each look will work because you did the exposure and white balance adjustment already on your clip level. So whatever you look you want to go for, this is some, uh, yeah, really hard teal and orange, but you see it works on each clip. I like the Fincher most, so I stick to that one and that's it. That's all you need to do. But with emulate, you can now go further and add some bloom, add some nuclear halation if you want to, um, play around with grain and all these presets and settings. But yeah, that's it. And that's where I want to emphasize uh, the importance of trial and error. That sometimes all you need to do is try around, play around with settings and see what looks best and not what technically perfect. But of course, in a future update of Emulate, you will get an S Cinetone profile, which you can directly pick from the menu of the look designer. But for now, just pick Rec. 709 and you're good to go. The image looks beautiful. You can tweak your colors, build your look, um, play around with highlights, mids and shadows. Everything works just fine. Let me know if you got any questions and I'm pretty sure that Eric will make another more technical tutorial about this uh, soon. So uh, you find a playlist down below in the description where you find all of our emulate tutorials. That's it for today. See you soon. Tschüss.